Well, hey, y'all, how you doing on today? I hope everybody is wonderful and feeling refreshed and just trusting in the Lord and just believing on him, loving him and worshiping him and remembering his grace and how good he's been to keep us alive and keep us this strong this so far, I tell you, and that our situations are changing. I'm not going to be on here too long, but I have a word from the Lord that was in my spirit, and I believe I needed to release it. And, and I, I take a hold of it for myself and, and my family, children. And, and I tell you, Pastor, we, we just excited. I want you to know that God says he is granting his children a new life, a fresh start, and he set a, a second chance. That second chance really stood out with me. Ain't nothing like a second chance, somebody. God says, I'm going to give you a chance to get it right this time. I'm going to wipe away the slate clean. I have forgiven you, you who have confessed from your heart. Now, confession has to come from your heart. It can't just be uh, you just saying something just to appease God. You can't appease God. God knows our hearts and he knows everything about us and so God says get ready because he wants to uh, breathe uh, over the situations now and I heard the Lord says get ready he is affording new beginnings and a second chance and I love the scripture in Lamentations and I got to look it up so that I can put it in the description maybe but it says that affliction will not come a second time and he says I am going to wipe away the affliction now remember in Zephaniah I love that scripture because it's, it is prophetic he said at that time see this is the time this is the season this is the hour he says at that time i am going to undo undo release loose us from take away remove every demon every evil every attachment every contract from the pit of hell. God said every which way the enemy had a grasp and a hold of his children through their mind, through the body, spirit, the soul, everywhere they bound, captive, all of a shot, in jail, a kind of a shake, spiritual uh, cages, glory to God, a caged life, blessings was caged, business was caged. The enemy put a grip in a cage around the finances, the home, the life, the joy, and the and, and the peace and the goodness. And God says, everywhere they have been caged. He says he's breathing life. He is replacing all that the enemy has done with his goodness. Somebody better praise the Lord. This is that time of that hope and that future. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. And we will witness him like never before in our own personal situations. Things are changing. The tables have turned. The winds have shifted. And they're blowing in the people of God's favor. Yes, chaos and turmoil will hit the nations, will hit the people and the enemies of God. But them that are with him about to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Something marvelous is about to happen. Someone has been looking from afar. Something that God wants us to have cannot be denied. Things are being released, loosed. The winds of God cannot be stopped. Get ready for that marvelous change. Get ready, Hanabo Shekanda. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for that marvelous new beginning and that second chance that you've asked God for. He says a second chance. I'm giving them a second chance. A chance to love me, live for me, praise me, say of the Lord. And God says, I want to see what they're going to do when I increase them and when I give them more and place them in a better place and, and give them greater responsibility. I want to see what they're going to do when I blow my winds over them and heal their bodies, heal their scars, when they know that this, this, in fact, indeed, the kingdom of the Most High God has come. God says, I want to know what they're going to do with another chance. Somebody praise the Lord. He says, them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
this thing ain't funny. We'll mount up like wings of an eagle. We'll run and not be weary. We'll walk and not faint. Lamentations, affliction shall not come a second time. What you going to do with your new life? What you going to do with your second chance with God? The second chance is with Him. See, we messed up in the past. We did some things we had to pay for. We had to go through some stuff, y'all. Be not deceived. He's not to be mocked, played with. Hallelujah. But a man soweth, he shall reap. But the God of mercy and grace is breathing resurrection power and life into our very lungs, into our very blood, our system cells, our vital organs. Somebody praise the Lord. Newness of life. Newness of blessing. God, y'all don't know. This is time to rejoice. And the world is still the world. But we not of it. We in it. But we in it with God. We're in the kingdom of the most high. I want you to know that you're going to see some marvelous things. And I'm going to see some marvelous things. And I'm taking these words as they come out of my mouth. For the spirit of grace has come upon those who love him. I tell y'all, the winds are blowing. And I was sitting on my prayer balcony. And I was talking to the Holy Spirit. And that beautiful sunshine, but yet the winds are blowing. And I said, God, you're here. I could feel his presence all morning long. When I woke up about 3 o'clock a.m., Holy Spirit wakes, wakes me up, and I can hear the Lord, and the winds are blowing. He said, the shifting is here. There's no more time to waste. I'm affording my children a new life in me. I'm giving them another chance. I'm going to bless their business, their money, and things are coming in. He even said that he was the Lord Jehovah Jireh. The Lord our provider. He said, I'm going to fulfill all the needs. The suffering's going to end. I'm going to bind up every enemy. Bind the powers of darkness. I'm breaking and binding all the curses and all the hardship and the hold-ups. Removing the blockades, the Lord said. And he says, I'm moving in the wind, Esther. I'm moving in the territories, in the regions. Things are going to change, even in the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods are going to change. This thing ain't funny, y'all. Things going to be different. And I tell you, he's going to tear down to rebuild and restore our country, America. He's going to restore Israel and move through the nations where he said he will be exalted among the nations. And there will be plenty, saith the Lord. For he will restore to each and every one of us all the years the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar ate. He said that we will eat in plenty and not be ashamed. My people will not be ashamed. I feel like crying for the heart of the Father, y'all. Oh, shake on our own side. Oh, God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Oh, one accord, God. Oh, one accord. Through the blood of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I praise you right now. Exalt you, God. You are my Father. You are my God. We bind evil authority. We cast it down through the blood of Jesus and cut and sever the soul and spirit of cords, ties, root links, and tentacles with Satan and his kingdom in the name of Jesus and loose the power of God all throughout his creations into our very own region, territory, district, our situation, circumstances, even into our home. God, this thing ain't funny. And you are the living God. And I give you the praise and the honor and all the glory. And I thank you for divine protection for the mighty angelic hosts with swords of fire and your continents of power, the fire of your flames surrounding us and everything that you have given us are coming in and going out. Those of us who love you, who are in this word, 
in this word, this word is targeted for his children, his children, and not half Christian and half something else, his children who stay with him and love him, who are repentant, who's sorry. You don't like the sin nature. You like goodness. You like God and his righteousness. We're seekers of the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God going to show out on us, in us and through us, signs and wonders coming up on them who believe. So follow us, y'all. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I'm telling you, I'm about, uh -uh. I'm about to run, Forrest, run. I'm, I, I, ooh, I got my new strand. My heart is fixed on it. And I know yours is too. Guess what? His surprise is involved. I saw packages with our names on them. We didn't even ask God for some of this stuff. And what you going to do with your second chance? Are you ready for the move of the Father? What you going to do with a new life and your health restored? And when it gives you increase and more, what you going to do with, with better people in your life? Somebody praise the Lord. We won't forget him like Deuteronomy 8 say, don't go forget the Lord our God who kept us in that wilderness. We have found out we can't do nothing without him. And you ain't nothing but the one breath away from six feet under. It's the grace of God who holds the keys to life. He gives it and he can take it. But for those who love him, Psalms 91, he said, with long life will I satisfy you. I'm excited, y'all. This not the helicopters. They've been flying over here all morning. And last night, just helicopters. And it's the sign from the Lord of rescue angels. Help from the third heaven. What's she into? What's going on with you? Listen at that. What's she going on? What's in? What's, what's, what's going on? Help is on the way. He's going to give you another chance. Me another chance. Oh, I was, when I prophesy, I'm, I'm, hallelujah, I'm in this thing. Because the Holy Spirit is speaking. And I just love y'all so much. I want to seal this word up. And it's just a, a, anoint your hands and your house for increase, for help, and for a better place and everything. Just the promises of God to come to pass for his people. I give him glory. I give him praise. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And I want to tell you, God told me, don't work, don't worry about who fall off your life. Don't run chase nobody. God said, let them go. Because God said he's doing a separating. He's removing them who are not really for you. You got some people who with you five minutes, next minute they're talking about you or skeptical of you. When you're really anointed by the Lord, you don't have to explain your gift to anyone. God will take God will, God will do it for you. Somebody praise the Lord. Get ready. He said, I'm coming through. And I'm going to bless the life of my children with a new start and a, and a second chance. And it's happening right now. Like and subscribe, somebody, and praise his holy name. You newcomers, go on, like and subscribe. Give us a good comment, y'all, and help us to build this channel for the Lord God. It is Jesus' word that the good news of the kingdom will go forward throughout the land, throughout the nation. Somebody praise the Lord. And we fear the Lord. And you can support us, and we need your support to do what we have to do, to keep everything going, to keep Hanabosata, all the things we have on our plate behind the scene. This is a real ministry, and we got so many things that God wants us to do that we're doing. And, it come, and I tell you, it's the generosity of the saints. Somebody praise the Lord that grows and expands the kingdom of the Most High God. And we have not given our souls to the enemy. We fear the Lord and Jesus Christ is our Lord. And we fear with the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise the Lord. 
You can support us, and I pray you will, at www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click, click Donations. That's Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot com forward slash donations. Or you can go to Cash App at dollar sign K-P-M-I Church, dollar sign K-P-M-I Church. Or you can become a patron and join our precious patrons and you can go to Patreon dot com forward slash Apostle Esther Joy. Or write to us with your seed and your testimony, your prayer request at Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church, post office, box 381-034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038. That's Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church, Post Office Box 381034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038. The move of God is on, and we just seal his blessings with his Holy Ghost fire, loosening his dunamis flame to the power of the enemy and all demonic power and strategy to tear down every blocking spirit, evil, cursed, and force, every incantation in Jesus' name. I can't wait to hear from y'all. Shalom. Shalom.